Saka Fats YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make my gorgeous chicken fillet burgers. darlings it's so nice to have you back here in my kitchen for yet another amazing recipe we're jumping straight into it but first let's make our dry spice blend go ahead and combine some all purpose seasoning garlic salt some thyme garlic and herb seasoning and paprika and mix that in well this is what we're going to be using to season our boneless thighs today and season our flour as well once your seasoning blend is all mixed in you want to go ahead and take a ziploc bag add all your chicken pieces to it and then we're going to season this generously okay mix it in well in the bag and then pour in some buttermilk as well let it marinate overnight if you have lots of time but then uh, i only had about an hour so i literally let this marinate for a little bit and i went straight into creating my flour mix For the flour mix, I went in with some plain flour and some of that leftover seasoning from earlier. And I gave this a really good mix, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and curd my chicken pieces in there. It's soaking in that buttermilk so you know it's gonna be soft, tender, and flavorful. Make sure to massage it in well, okay? You want all of that flour mixture to stick on that chicken. And yes, my darlings, once it's all curted, set it aside on a plate and then we're gonna do all of this. And when I'm all done, I'll come back and show you. This is how it looks once we were done. We have a whole plate full. Got my pan. I'm gonna add some oil, about two to three cups of oil. Let it heat up for a minute or two. As you can see, I'm just here testing to make sure it's nice and hot. Now we're gonna pan fry these for about five to six minutes, about three to four minutes on either side because it's boneless and honestly, it's gonna cook so quick. Now, if you want, you can use chicken breast. I find that the thigh is so much juicier. So this is why I prefer thighs for my burgers. But honestly, it's entirely up to you. Once it's all fried, we're gonna go ahead and assemble this together and guys the color on this was so gorgeous So for our burger sauce, we're gonna go in with a little sriracha, a bit of ketchup, a little mayo, mix that in well, and then this is your burger sauce all done. Set it to one side because I'm literally on the last two pieces of chicken, and honestly, all you need is your burger buns, your fried chicken pieces, you need some lettuce and tomato, you can add whatever you want on this, pickles, whatever, but my boys, they're like they're simple, so we're just gonna stick to the simple ones, and look at that, you can see how crispy this is here, yeah, and properly seasoned as well. So time to 
assemble this up gonna start by adding a little bit of the burger sauce on my burger bun of course and then we add some lettuce go ahead and add your chicken pieces i like to add about two to three pieces because listen one of this burger is enough to keep you full and good to go for dinner time okay add a tomato on top add a little bit more burger sauce on the top bun and you want to just top it off like this because of how thick and tall my burgers are i like to hold it together with a skewer then i go ahead and do the rest of course and listen guys this was so so good sometimes you don't want to cook sometimes you don't want to make anything too much and sometimes you honestly don't want to go get takeaway either so this is what i do when i don't want to cook too much i don't want to get takeaway but i'm feeling to have something yummy filling and homemade and delicious see how they look though when the sunlight hits it oh my gosh this was so beautiful and honestly so so tasty my boy is ready to jump in he can't wait baby came looking for his of course because whoo we can't miss up on the niceness i really hope you enjoy the recipe try it soon let me know what you think about it it's been a pleasure having you here of course and i can't wait to see you in my next one Purchase my new cookbook, Bommage. Bommage translates to good food in Saint Lucian Creole. And this cookbook is basically a little taste of Saint Lucian and Caribbean cuisine. It's packed with recipes. Packed, I mean 50 plus. But all these lovely recipes. Gorgeous. And it's literally only $24.99. You can click the link down below in the description box if you'd like to purchase my book. And guys, once again, thank you so much for all of your support, to all of you who've been purchasing my book, to all of you who have it already. Honestly, I'm so, so grateful. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.